let's uh, go ahead and move on to the tech tip section uh, of this show. Um, basically, the tech tip for this week is uh, virtualization. I don't know if any of you guys have used anything like this, but virtualization, there's, there's many uh, companies out there that provide uh, services, but virtualization is essentially lets one computer do the job of multiple computers. By sharing resources of a single computer across environments, virtual servers, virtual desktops, let you host multiple operating systems on one computer or on one computer in a remote location. Uh, basically freeing up physical and geographical limitations in addition to saving things like energy and using your resources, uh, you know, uh, for what you can do. You know, you have one high availability system and you can load up uh, 10 virtual machines on that. So rather than having 10 separate computers, you have one computer running 10 different instances of different operating systems, maybe running Linux, running uh, Mac OS 10, running Windows, running Windows Server, running whatever operating system you choose. And there's, I looked at some lists, there's probably some 10 to 20 to maybe even 50 different vendors of virtualization type you know applications to do you can even you know run just applications in virtual desktops or in virtual environments and, and that sort of thing so just to go on on this topic uh, there's a product called uh, uh, VMware player that can be downloaded from Microsoft at, at VMware.com this is free you could load this on your Windows desktop computer and you could run Linux underneath it. You could run other versions of Windows and uh, and that sort of thing. Yeah, Microsoft actually bought VMware and uh, some time ago. I was talking to Chad a little bit. So Microsoft owns VMware and they, uh, they, they also have some new products that they're incorporating in that to make it easier for people to you know share data between these virtual machines and they have a another free version which is the VMware player uh, or VMware server that'll let you row, let you run multiple operating systems simultaneously on one single server so in, in my uh, enterprise company we do this a lot for training and uh, basically what we can do is I can build up an entire uh, Windows Exchange server and break it and trash it and then just delete my virtual machine and build a new virtual machine in just a matter of time without crashing or destroying the whole system at its you know core foundation saves thousands of hours over time when you use it in a method like that and uh, to go on on this topic VMware Fusion if you're into running beta software VMware Fusion 2.0 is in its public beta 1 right now was just announced and it has some new tools to do uh, for supporting DirectX 9 uh, things like that uh, it can be downloaded for free off of uh, off of a link that will be in the show notes and let's see if I can post it into uh, chat right now but if you're into running uh, VMware Fusion you could uh, download this beta and uh, check it out if you want. The, just uh, some bullet points I have under this uh, section of my uh, report here. It says two heads are better than one. Uh, experiment, experimental DirectX 9.0 3D acceleration that, that's made in the shade. In the shade. Uh, flip the switch and import parallels and virtual PC and Mac virtual machines. Even your boot camp partition. So uh, that's pretty amazing, you know, being able to share across your virtual machines. Uh, it now even says it uh, supports uh, Windows printing is made even easier on the Mac uh, and e even easier than Mac native design. So this beta, and keep in mind, please note, disclaimer here, uh, beta software can be prone to instability and bugs. So do not run beta software on mission critical environments. But if you're interested, if you have a, a machine that you like to run beta software, just to be on the cutting edge of technology and things like virtualization, because this is really cool for saving energy, for saving space. You know, you can have, like I've got a, a rack mount server right here. I could load it up and run 10 virtual machines on it, where five years ago, I'd need a stack of 10 computers, you know. So being able to do something like that is awesome. Um, I'm also, uh, there are many virtualization products uh, like Parallels for the Mac and many other VMware products for Microsoft operating systems, including application, 
desktop and server environments. So let me post these links into the chat here, vmware.com, and also a Wikipedia article on uh, virtual machines and virtualization that you may want to check out just to learn some more about virtualization and what it could possibly do for your environment. So that's uh, what I had to talk about for this week's tech tip. If you haven't checked out virtualization, check it out in the future. And uh, it, it's pretty amazing that they're bringing this stuff to us and it's not, you know, it's not catching our computers on fire. So let's move on to uh, <laughs> the next topic here, uh, which this section of the show, I like to do general talk and discussions. Uh, so viewers, if you don't know, if you don't know, uh, I have giveaways that I do about every three weeks. Um, the Geek with the Sunglasses, that's High Web. I'm going by High Web. I think I might start using my real name in the show. Like I'm going to say this is High Web. But let's talk about general discussions. We'll talk about this a little bit later. Uh, viewers, so if you don't know, I'm having giveaways. My next giveaway is May 15th. So if you have not signed up for the giveaway, uh, sign up at uh, highweb.net click on the giveaway link on the left hand side there and uh, make sure to meet the eligibility requirements these eligibility requirements include subscribing to my youtube channel which uh, i can just type my youtube and it will post that link out here and then registering with my blog and making a comment on my blog and then also one other additional thing, which is going to shop.highweb.net and just clicking on a few of those links in there. I'm saying even just one or two of those links just to give me some added impressions on uh, those advertisers. So keep in mind, you know, and uh, help, help HighWeb uh, community out by entering in this contest and following those uh, basic eligibility requirements and what we're giving away is between fifteen to fifty dollars the last giveaway i gave away fifty dollars you can go to that link on the giveaway too and see the previous uh... items that we've given away and uh... and what we plan on giving away but fifteen to fifty dollar gift cards companies like buy.com amazon godaddy uh... itunes and various other companies that are bringing stuff to the plate and we may also even throw things like hardware i was thinking about buying another pair of these headphones and using them uh, using that pair of headphones for a giveaway or even a webcam or a, a wireless keyboard or things like that so stay tuned for hot giveaways from the high web interactive community and uh, we look forward to sharing some of our techno resources with the community that participates here also uh, to talk more about the general discussions here future segments of this show are going to uh, include things like music production segments. I've got a, uh, a few live music performances that we're going to be bringing to the, to the program, not to this Thursday night program, but to like weekend special event programs. Uh, we're going to be doing some festival broadcasting this uh, summer, broadcasting live music from festivals around the Pacific Northwest area. We're also doing things to bring like uh, special hardware reviews. I might even go out and if there's a new gadget that comes out that I really think we need to review, I'm going to bring it to the plate here and, uh, and let everyone know about it. One of the viewers last week uh, elected to get me to, to donate a Magic Jack to me. So I've ordered one of those Magic Jack voice over IP uh, devices and I might as well do a review on that and let everyone know that I, what I think of it. It was donated by one of the High Web Interactive regular uh, community viewers. So I really appreciate it. He's not in the chat. I don't see him right now. But uh, uh, thanks, Ron, for, uh, for sending me uh, that resource. Um, also, we're working on engaging subject matter experts to produce custom content. There's guys in chat right now like Jones. Jones has a, a remote PC support company where he does uh, technical support for people remotely uh, from his environment and dials and remotely connects to a company's environment and does stuff. I might ask Jones to come in and you know tell us how do you operate Jones? What tools do you uh, use to do that? Or various other subject matter experts. Uh, we got Echo Relay in here, which is a he's an audio and video uh, uh, guru of some sort and likes to do stuff like that. So uh, we got Mr. Vinix in here that uh, says he needs a job. So. We're not, you know, with, this is a, a volunteer community. I don't get 
really much out of doing this, but uh, I'm passionate about technology and I like talking about it. We got McKee in the chat 